Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of, wow, um, April 4th through the 10th. The reason I turned the camera on while I'm still shuffling is because I had the chariot pop out, which is amazing energy. This is the ultimate victory card and I just had the world come out as well. So amazing energy um, this week for you Libra you're moving towards a new beginning here um, completing a, a cycle something's come full circle and with that you're now on to the next chapter or next cycle cycle in your life for some Librans you're probably moving so this is um, some amazing energy I do want to put these back in I'm gonna continue on shuffling let's see if they come out again um, but Libra, I just want to take a second and, and apologize because I couldn't get these readings up sooner. I actually have someone very close to me in, in my family whose health is, is you know, not, not, she's not doing well. So I actually have had a lot going on. So I do apologize that I couldn't get these up sooner, but I'm still getting them up for you. So I still want to give you that, you know, that guidance for, for the week. All right, upcoming. Oh, there's the Queen of Wands. She just popped out. The Queen of Wands. I'm going to put her right there. Now, the Queen of Wands, I can see her as a woman who takes action. She's very ambitious. She's that fiery energy, very driven woman. Or driven person um, if you're a man watching this you very well can have the energy of the Queen of Wands as well very ambitious very passionate woman okay and at the bottom of the deck I do have the King of Pentacles okay so we have the Queen of Wands we have the King of Pentacles so this King of Pentacles person could be an earth sign person around you, maybe um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn who's quite significant. You also might have a fire sign person around you who's might, who could be quite significant as well, um, maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Now, um, they don't necessarily have to be those zodiac signs. They just might be someone who's very fiery or someone who's very grounded, or very practical. Um, this also could be a house that's quite significant for you this week, Libra. Um, something to do with your assets, something to do with finances, career, security, or maybe home as well. Now, we, we didn't have the chariot or the world come out here, but um, those cards came flying out, as, as you've seen with the world. Uh, and I do feel like that's some very amazing, very strong energy that is with you this week. So for many Librans... You're, you're being victorious with something. Um, the chariot is the ultimate victory card, and you're moving forward. Maybe you're moving towards um, a move. You could be physically moving to a new home because I have the four of wands here. So for some Libras, you're moving to a new home. For other Libras, maybe you're coming out victorious with being able to start a new chapter of your life. Now, the overall energy for the entire week is actually the three of cups. So this is a very nice light energy. This is you being just very happy in a good place emotionally. It's that lighter energy, not heavy at all. Maybe you're spending time with friends or family, maybe going out, having some drinks. But for me, this is also success. This is a celebratory energy. So you're, for some Libras, you could be celebrating your success, celebrating that victory that you might just have received. Now, I do also have the Six of Cups here. And this can be that nostalgic energy where someone or something from your past is, is relevant. And because I have the Emperor sitting directly next to the Six of Cups, this could be a situation that's been going on from your past, a situation that's, that's something you've been dealing with from your past and that now you're coming out um, successful with or victorious with because the emperor represents success um, this is you being empowered you being in control and I again I feel like this is a situation that's connected to your past that you're now um, successful with there's something that 
um, is from your past that you're celebrating this success. There's something, some sort of victory or success um, that you're that you're seeing here. So this is wonderful. And again, with the Queen of Wands energy here, this could be you actually maybe taking action um, because I have the Magician underneath the Emperor, which is you being in control. Um, you're definitely in control. You're definitely empowered this week. And you have everything you need, all the resources, all the tools that you need to be successful with creating a new beginning for yourself. So this is some amazing energy. You're, you're coming through very creative this week. And for some of you, you're maybe starting a new company. Maybe you're starting your own company. And then for others, maybe you're starting a new job because I have the Eight of Pentacles here. And this is known as the Apprenticeship card. For me, it's my Craftsman card. Um, you might be working, you know, a job that you've worked at for many years, but you could be receiving some, some really good news this week. Um, a raise, a promotion, some sort of acknowledgement. For me, the Eight of Pentacles um, talks about uh, advancement, achievement, um, acknowledgement. So this is some wonderful energy. Financially, I think it's going to be a great week for you. The Eight of Pentacles represents you building up that security. You're definitely in a good place. For some of you, though, you might be starting a new job. You might be learning a new skill. Maybe you're taking some classes for a new job. And then for others, um, I feel like you could be receiving a raise. There's definitely more security coming in here because I have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles. So there's definitely more security coming in this week. So for some of you, because it's a general reading, um, that will be more money coming in. And then for others, you could be moving to a new home, which in a sense is adding security to your life. Because I have the Four of Wands here, which is my happy home card. So this can represent a home or, you know, this can represent um, you moving to a new home or just things being really good on the home front. Um, your family's happy, you're happy, things are really secure. Now I have temperance underneath the Four of Wands and temperance is a healing energy that's coming through. So this is a, that wonderful divine energy that's around you, your angels, your guides. I feel maybe guiding you to a new home for some Libras. If this is you, now we did have the chariot with the world, if this is you moving to a new home, I feel like this is blessed, a very blessed energy that's around you, and this is something you're divinely being guided to. So this is going to make, you know, you're going to be happy, you're, this is going to bring a lot of happiness to your family, and also this is a lot of healing energy. Um, I see you being emotionally balanced and just in a good place. Um, lots of security coming through. I have the Four of Pentacles here, which for me represents security. It can represent lots of other things as well, but I feel like this is showing me next to the Four of Wands here. This is showing me that you're bringing in lots of security. So maybe you bought a home. Maybe um, for some of you, you could have received a home. Um, I do have the Ace of Wands here directly underneath the Four of Pentacles. And with Temperance, we have the Ace of Wands. So this definitely can represent a new home, a new career for some Libras. This is the most passionate card in the entire deck for me. So this is whatever this is. This is something that you're extremely passionate about, Libra. This is a beautiful new beginning. For some of you, this is a creative endeavor or a creative project. For many other Libras, this is a new job, absolutely. And this is gonna be a job um, that's exciting. Um, maybe when you hear the news, it's just extremely exciting. Um, something maybe you're passionate about or something you get to really express yourself creatively with. And then for others, you know, this absolutely can be a home where you're going to put your own creative spin on it, you know, in regards to decorating it. Um, yeah, honestly, you have just a beautiful spread here. Um, and, and I'm definitely, um, you know, taking into consideration how you had the chariot, you have the world, you have the queen of wands, king of pentacles, and then all of these beautiful energies here. The overall energy is the three of cups. Um, 
So you're definitely celebrating. You're definitely manifesting new beginnings. You have a lot of passionate, creative energy here with you this week. Financially, I think it's going to be a great week. You have the King of Pentacles, which is financial security, financial success. He represents security. And you have the Eight of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, which is very much... Um, a security card for me this is talking about long-term stability so whatever this new beginning is for you Libra and whether this be a new home or a new job this is bringing that long-term stability into your life so just amazing energy honestly now I am going to draw you an additional guidance card um, for this for this week's readings I am using a new deck it is my Archangel Michael Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue and these cards are just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I love the back of the cards. So please show me some additional guidance. Okay, here we go. For Libra. Love, or excuse me, you and your loved ones are safe. Wow, you and your loved ones are safe. Dear God and Archangel Michael, thank, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I may focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. Wow, beautiful. You and your loved ones are safe. I mean, um, I feel like this is a very clear message for... Those Libras that, you know, were doubting your security or your safety in some which way, I mean, that could be why just security is coming through for me so strongly this week for you because, uh, Libra, I feel like there's a very strong message here that you're bringing in that long-term stability and security into your life. Um, and this is, you know, you being divinely guided to this. So if you... You know felt like um, you know security was an issue for you in the past or you didn't feel safe where you were in the past or whatever this may be for you this is just confirmation that you and your loved ones are safe they're watching over you and you're you're definitely headed towards bringing in um, that long-term security and stability so I do hope you enjoyed this reading Libra I do hope you have a wonderful week take care